my name is Dev Nambi. I'm one of the three musical directors for Vamo La, which is a Brazilian drum and dance group here in Seattle. I'm Gabriela Condria. I'm the founder of uh, Tango Stride and the nonprofit that supports our program, Hugs That Empower. I'm known as Mock TV, and my role in the organization is <laughs> there's so many instigator, provocator, and I'll do about anything for this thing. Fremont Arts Council is a group of volunteers who are artists or want to help create community art. It's, it's performing art in public spaces. Not only does it bring people together in an age where we seem to be living in our own little bubbles and we're more and more fractured, this is the opposite. Where you can have an event where tens of thousands of people from all over the city can come together, mingle, meet in a way that is, you know, completely benign and beautiful. I don't see many, many, many chances like that, especially ones that are completely free, kid-friendly, accessible, open to everybody. My neighbor was running this improv classes here, and we were glad to find a welcoming space. The managers of the center were open to experimenting together how myself as a visual impaired person could do visual arts. And that's how I started. Talked me into coming down and to the workshop and by the next day I was in the parade and my life changed. I found a whole nother world for me to be in. A world that inspired me, that challenged me. I could, I'm a thrill seeker. I found things that were, that scared me that I could do. And they were fun when I did them and learned about them. I discovered I was an artist. One of our students needs a lot of support to, to stand and then also needs to be followed with his wheelchair. And usually I'm kind of circulating and making sure I get to our Tango Stride students to like especially with um, this student Sean well all of a sudden I'm dancing with somebody else and I look over and he's got two people helping him stand which I mean he stands they're just helping him balance and then uh, one of the brand new people that had just like joined us at the beginning of the parade was following with his wheelchair and I wanted to like go help and then I thought you know what they've got this and I think that's just such an empowering feeling for anybody participating. There's these two kits, I want to say about 12 or 13. One of them's in costume, one of them's not. And they're dancing hard enough that they're, it seems like they're just sort of, like gravity was not paying full attention. Like they're just leaping off the ground. Uh, and they followed us for about half the parade. <laughs> and I remember being a kid and having those kinds of experiences and they made, they made a difference. It, brings joy to people in a very like, eloquent and evocative way. The old joke is that you'd be in here doing something, <clears throat> somebody would come in and they would start talking to you, you'd tell them about it, and, and then you'd say, well, here, hold this, I've got to do this, and, and in a few minutes, we'd say, well, you paint that little piece, and, and the next thing you know, they're an artist, and they're one of us.